Hello there, Dustin Harris, better known as the appraiser coach. We're going to do a mobile appraising today. That means we're going to gather all the information for an appraisal on the inspection, at the inspection. As you can see, I have an iPad 2 here. On the back side is a Disto laser measure. Uh, the great thing is, is they fit together quite nicely. Um, I actually can pop this section off in case I need to go to an important business meeting and don't want to look like too much of a redneck. And I can put a different uh, back side on that. And so that works out really, really well. Uh, it snaps on there very, very quickly. So I can just, you know, change those out as needs be. Um, the other thing that I carry around is my camera. Uh, I carry that separately because I don't really like the camera on the iPad 2. It just, to be honest with you, it's just grainy. It just, just doesn't work very well. I'm hoping the iPad 3 will be a little bit better as that comes out. Um, so this is really it. I'm, I'm able to carry everything I need in two hands. Uh, which is great because I only have two hands, uh, so <laughs> it works out well. So this is our uh, our fine specimen here of uh, the house that we're going to uh, we're going to appraise. For some reason, there's a car in the driveway, but the house is empty, so it makes for for good video. So I'm going to start here by taking pictures of the street. I always take both sides. Notice I'm carrying the uh, the iPad 2 with the one hand, but taking a picture, as I said earlier, with my other hand. Um, I did open up the garage beforehand. I always ask the homeowner to do that because it's a lot easier, obviously, to measure from the outside when you do have the garage. That way you know where to start and, and where the house begins and, and where the garage begins. So, um, what I typically like to do is actually start where the garage and the house meet. You don't have to do that. That's just my style. I'm going to go to my mobile to total program here and I'm going to go to the existing files and the one I'm going to do here uh, is that one right there. So I'm going to open up that report and you, as you can see all of the information that I need is right there. I've got the order, the neighborhood, the site, the improvements, the PUD information if that is applicable and then up here I've got all of the icons that allow me to do what I need to do. So what I can do is I can actually start out here with improvements and I can say okay number of stories, well this is a one story uh, the design is going to be a ranch. Uh, the effective age, uh, I can do that obviously as I get in, but this was built in 2004. I'm going to give it a, an effective age of 5. I might change that as I get in and look at actually, uh, you know, the information in there. Uh, I can go down through here, and I'm on the outside now, so I can actually say, okay, foundation. By the way, I don't have to type anything if I don't need to, because I have these quick lists over here on the left side. Those things work very, very well. So I'm going to say all good, and usually that will fill out everything. I'm having a little bit of a, a, a glitch right now with that. But the exterior walls is mostly vinyl. Uh, so we're going to go vinyl siding good, and then comp shingle good. As you can see, that just changes each of those and hops me to the next field as I do that. So I can fill that out as I go. Now, the thing that I can do now is I can go here to the sketch. By the way, you can tell my iPad 2 is well used. Um, I guess the testament to uh, Steve Jobs is they are very durable. You can drop them, break them up, and they still work, which is all good. So what I'm, what I'm in now is the sketch. Okay, This is the sketch, and as you can see, there's a little blue dot there. Okay, So I'm going to actually start on that blue dot. That's my starting point. So as you can see over here, this is where the garage and the house meet. Okay, So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start where the garage and the house meet, and I'm going to turn the iPad over and I'm going to use my laser measure on the back side. So let's turn that on. As you can see, maybe we can get a, an angle from this side here. Um, no, around this way, sorry. So you can see the laser. So you can actually see the laser. There you go. Yeah, see that? So, so that's... I'm just going to point that on the opposite wall, hit that, and that tells me that I'm four and a half feet from that wall to that wall. Uh, you cannot currently Bluetooth the Disto to the um, to the iPad 2, um, but hopefully that's coming out in the future. So we've got four and a half feet, so I'm going to go 4.5, and then I'm going to go over, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so I've got my first line drawn. I then come here, I can do the same thing here. That's three and a half feet. Obviously I'm rounding a little bit. We're going to do ANSI standards here. So 3.5 and enter. So I'm starting to draw it, zooming in 
to show me where I'm at, but as the house gets bigger, it's going to zoom out so I can kind of see the overall. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to this one, and we've got just over nine feet. So I'm going to take nine and go over like that. Okay, let's come down here. And we're going to measure here. I could have guessed that was two feet, but just to be sure, it certainly is two feet. Now let me show you another thing you can do, which is kind of cool. So what I can do is instead of hitting two, out, enter, okay, I'm going to undo that. I can actually hit two, swipe the way I need it to go, and then tap the screen, and it'll do the same thing. So you can use the cursors down here, or you can swipe and tap, and it does the same thing. So. On this one, by the way, the laser measure, sometimes you don't have anything to bounce off of, like a wall like this. Maybe we can get a wide wide view here of this one. So you can see this wall here, there's nothing really to bounce off of. I can't really get to the brick. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bounce off of the, the siding here. Okay. Sometimes you have to walk, walk the uh, laser up the wall until it hits that siding piece there and then I know that I have 13 feet there, okay? So let me show you again where I've got 13 feet. The simple way to do it is to go one, three, swipe over, tap, and I've got that one done. So let's continue to move around the house here. Here's an interesting situation. If we get into the backyard, as you can see, this wall here, I could do this, okay? Now, come around here and you can, you can kind of see what I'm talking here. I could do this and kind of crawl up in here and try to hit that other wall, but the easier thing is if I've got a fence here, why not go the other direction? It doesn't matter that I'm drawing this direction, all I need is a measurement. So it would be easier with this situation to draw from down here. Now I don't have to crouch in that corner, and I can actually just hit that fence down here. So maybe come around, around to the back of me here, and you can see what I'm doing. That fence is a lot easier target than this rain gutter would have been. So I'm going to just hit that, and it tells me we're 34 feet, okay? So I'm going to go back here. My thing closed out. Sometimes that happens when you flip it over and you hit different things. So 34, swipe up, and tap. And we're starting to draw this thing, okay? Now at this point, I'm going to walk to this corner, because I can get two pictures from this corner. I can get the side of the house from here. And again, I'm just holding this with the other hand while I'm taking pictures. And I can get, obviously, the rear of the house as well. Okay? So now I'm at this corner. Even though I measured from here to here, I drew the line from there to there. It's the same distance. It just matters which direction you actually punch the thing in. Now, here's an interesting situation right here. As you can tell, I've got a bush. Okay? If I've got the regular tape measure, yeah, I can probably get in here and you know, hook this and then move it over here, but what if there's a lot of bushes? That could be a difficult thing. The nice thing about the Disto is I can actually utilize the laser to go through the bushes rather than myself, which is <laughs> obviously preferable, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to, I could, now, I could do this and get in here, but obviously that's not very comfortable either. The cool thing about the Disto, as you can see, is I can I can stand right here, okay, and I'm going to hold it still. Now, maybe get behind me so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Here. I don't know if you'll be able to see the red laser, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to punch this, and I'm on the corner here, right next to this rain gutter, okay. So I'm through the tree. I hit that. That's six and a half feet. Now I'm going to hit the minus button, and I'm going to stay in the exact same spot. And I'm going to hit that office where the where the bay starts to come out, the bay window starts to come out. I'm going to hit that now, and that is 15 and a half. But when I hit the e minus button, now what I can do is I can hit equals, and I can see that it's nine feet. So that's nine feet from here to here. Okay, let's double check it. Now let's, I'm going to scratch myself up getting in here, but just to show you how accurate this is, if I had done this to begin with, which is kind of a pain and just hit that, sure enough, it's nine feet, okay? So that's that's the cool thing about that, is you actually don't have to get in and crawl through the, the crawl, through, crawl, excuse me, crawl through the bushes.